Hey everyone, today we're doing another species spotlight on this one of my absolute favorite colubrids, the rhino rat snake. These guys are amazing. So lucky to be able to pick one of these little ones up this year. I love these things. So, rhino rat snake, pretty obvious reason as to why they're called that, that adorable little proboscis they have sticking out of the front of their noses. So rhino rat snakes are an Asian rat snake species. So they're not exactly related to like the Texas and Everglade rats we have here in the States. They're, I don't exactly know what they're closest related to, but the temperament is very similar to that of like a Japanese rat snake and a lot of uh, the kind of smaller rat snakes, not like the big beauty snakes that usually have a bit more of a temper on them. Um, Asian rat snakes are, are a great, great thing because they don't require a whole lot of heat. They're actually pretty cool. These guys do really well at like room temperature with like a hot spot of like 85, 88 degrees. So not high at all. So just room temp with a little bit of basking spot is awesome for these things. Rhino rat snakes, you know, they're found in Southeast Asia, kind of like the Thailandish area. They're really cool because they're the semi fairly arboreal uh, green vine looking snake that are born gray. So when they first hatch out, they're these cute little gray noodles. They still have that little proboscis. And as they get older, they go through an autogenetic change, just like uh, green tree pythons and emerald boas, which the autogenetic means this is as they reach maturity, they will physically start to change their traits. So they're gray, and then they will slowly turn to this bright bluish green color. Um, this girl, she just started, to, she had just turned green right before we picked her up. She's about a year and a half, two years old now. Um, that varies from age to individual snake about how long that takes, but about two years or so is by the time they'll be completely green. Um, there's a couple different localities that do exist even here in the States that um, will vary exactly how bright green they are. Some are a little bit more kind of like that bluish teal. She's definitely more of a bluish teal color, but we'll see how much she changes because like I said, she's just now turned green from her gray state, so she might brighten up. We'll just have to see. Um, they have this little proboscis here, why they get their name again, and that's for a bit of luring. So we've talked about caudal luring in a couple other videos, and the caudal luring is when they talk about their little tail, which I don't know if you can see very well. She, the tip of her tail is over here on the other side of my hand. But they don't, like with like green tree pythons and even carpet pythons and some vipers, they have that really thin worm-like tail and they'll sit there and they'll wiggle it like this to attract a bird or a lizard or something like that, and then they'll come and snatch it. With these guys, they're a little bit different. They'll just hang there on branches and vines, just absolutely still. And that very tip of that is that kind of bright pale white, like a little grub, and they'll just hold still. And then when a bird or a lizard or something like that comes along, then they'll snatch that. These guys are super, super awesome. You know, they, like, like I said, I mentioned a little bit before, a lot of the Asian rat snakes, they have a tendency to be pretty reactive, pretty feisty, like the beauty snakes and the king rats and the, and the red tailed green rats. But these guys and like the Japanese rat snakes, they have a pretty tolerable uh, temperament. Uh, this girl, she's not the biggest fan of getting picked up, but once she's up, she is good to go. Um, when What's really good about these guys is that they will actually do pretty well communally. They're not like a king snake or something like that where they're going to eat each other very readily. I know a lot of people that, uh, for instance, the very first rhino rat snakes that were actually brought into the States came into Colorado through Pro Exotics and the Denver Zoo, but they used to keep them communally in large, very heavily foliaged enclosures with like one male to two or three females. And that's hopefully what eventually we're planning on doing. She, like I said, because they're super, super arboreal, she's actually just in an upright exoterra, like you'd keep a leopard gecko, or not a leopard gecko, a cresta gecko in right now. But eventually, hopefully we're gonna find a male for her and we're gonna move her to one of the larger exoterras and just heavily planted, bioactive, uh, just an amazing, cool, naturalistic, bioactive setup for this one, and then maybe we'll end up producing some babies. Um, this little girl has this kind of weird, benign little lump, like right there on her side. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. It doesn't, it's not next to her spine, there's no deformities, and it's not causing her an issue, so we're gonna keep an eye on it before we do, in fact, pull the trigger to breed her, if and when we find a little boy for her. But, just a quick little species spotlight for you guys. Rhino rat snakes. They're absolutely one of the coolest little oddball species. I love the oddball stuff. I, I do want to be a reptile breeder and keeper. And, you know, that's would be amazing to be able to actually make a little bit of living being able to do animal education, this YouTube thing, as well as, you know, breeding reptiles is kind of a bread and butter kind of a thing. But I love just taking care of 
individual reptile species and just enjoying them for their individual behaviors and quirks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty new to rhino rat snakes, so if you have any questions, let me know down below. I will do my best to answer them as well as I can, and if not, I know a couple people who I have started to reach out to and who I go for information about these particular animals, and I'll turn you guys to them as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you can. Hit that bell notification, and I'll check you next time. Hey everybody, really quick, just wanna talk a little bit about maybe helping support Jay-Z's reptiles a little bit, and you can do that even by kind of getting something for yourself too, which is merchandise. So hopefully for this, you know, coming up this Black Friday, not really a sale, but it'll be made available then. We're gonna have a few different designs of different things, and I'm gonna show you really quick. First of all, you know, the shirt that I'm wearing, really happy about this design. It's gonna come in a variety of different colors in both unisex and women's. So there's another one just for, you know, shows and tells these. We have purple, teal, black, gray, a couple different colors. It's gonna be really cool. The other one is obviously the standard logo, the Jay-Z's Reptiles logo. So here's another t-shirt. Just nice, simple, keep it sweet, easy, but looks really good, I think, as well as we also have bandanas with Jay-Z's Reptiles. We have masks in limited quantities available as well. So all of these ones, all of the t-shirts, I will have different sizes in unisex women's, even a few youth tees. But, you know, just please let me know. Hit me up, jayzysreptiles at gmail.com if you're interested. We also have stickers in full color. You know, so we have these guys that we've had. This is the full color one that I know everything is usually black and white for those because printing t-shirts is kind of expensive, everybody. We also have another really cool brand new design for stickers that are be coming out. You can see it right here. So... Every one of these things is made, every one of the designs has been designed by a local artist here in Denver. So it kind of helps support local artists. The shirts are printed at a local print shop. So that helps, you know, local print shop, local business, as well as, hey, I'm local too. You support small business locals. Yay. So hopefully you, uh, you know, are interested. Hit me up, jayzysreptiles.gmail.com. Catch you next time.